Hiya uh, folks, it's a laughing auditor here and I'm coming to you from this location I'm at the Indian High Commission um, in central London but there seems to be a major event happening at the, the Waldorf the, a very high-end hotel in uh, central London guys I don't know what's happening, I've just come around the corner there's about half a dozen, possibly eight ambulances a few police vehicles and they've got this all ribboned off with, uh, with what appears to be just white bed sheets taped up against the window. So something serious has uh, has been down here this morning. And I'm not entirely too sure what it is. Um, and so I was going to go and have a look at the the Indian Embassy. Um, but this has caught my attention. So, I don't know what's going on, um, but I am gonna, I'm not going to hang about outside, just simply because I don't normally like recording outside incidents such as that. It's, someone's obviously um, in serious need of help, and, uh, and yeah, I'm not going to sit and start sticking my camera about and possibly exacerbate the, the situation um, as I say I'm here at the Indian Embassy it is a little bit windy I hope it's not going to be ruining the video um, I want to really look around and see what's what if you do enjoy this video guys please like it feel free to share it and don't forget pop down hit that subscribe button we'll certainly see if we get any laughs out of this lot today right across the road from uh, the Tina Turner musical Simply the best people. This is the goods in, I think. But it's massive, it's a big old embassy. Compared to the, some of the other ones, I think it's even bigger than possibly the Saudi Arabian. Who knows? DC Jim Morrison, 13th of December 1991. Who's that? Jawaharlal. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that properly. I, I definitely know I'm not pronouncing that properly. Jawaharlal Nehru, 1889-1964. Someone please try and, uh, if you can, um, tell me how that's properly pronounced because I'm obviously butchering, butchering that. I wonder what these shutters are for. I thought they've got little sort of shops or something. Uh, I very much doubt it. They've got more up there. They're just for windows. Yeah, I think it's just to protect the windows. I think you may be able to see through. Yeah, it is. It's looks as just windows. So we've got these shutters to protect that. Now, I'm pretty sure there was some activity here recently. Um, so there was uh, some protests or whatever, I'm not entirely too sure what it was over but I think that's why they've since had a sort of police uh, stationed outside, we'll go down there in a second and um, and yeah we'll see, see what's what you might be wondering why my camera is shaking quite a bit guys um, because I don't have my gimbal is the, the honest answer uh, it's sustained some damage uh, on a recent audit I'll let you guys guess which one, um, but it has sustained damage, and and yeah, so I am in the process of sort of getting a backup, and potentially uh, sort of getting that replaced, um, obviously at the other party's expense it's going to be, um, but yeah, not good, so I'm back to, to square one just for today, yeah, that's what I'm talking about guys. On these uh, 
Ich schmeiße da runter. Ich bin ja nur ein Kerl da. Ich habe gedacht, wenn ich so ein bisschen so ein Plastik Schiebe über es, dann stoppe ich so ein Glas kommen los. Back around the side, but I don't think the police are gonna. Uh, it's still a high back to over there, guys. Um, but I don't think the police are gonna give me any grief as they get two people checking clipboards out here. I think they do. Pardon? Why not? I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not stopping you doing your job. Just because I want to. Why not? No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna keep recording. Don't touch me. I am. Yeah. Just because I want to. It's what I do. Why not? Why is it not good? It could be an excellent advert for the for India. Yes, I can. Of course, I can. Uh, he's getting a piece. Oh no! Help! Come quick! I want to hide around here just to get out of the wind. Let me hide. Oh, there's a kid there. Hey, pardon? What are you up to? What's it look like I'm doing? Videoing? Yeah. People. There you go. You got it. So, why are you doing that? Do I need to have a reason? I'm asking you. Uh, can you identify yourself, please? I'm a police officer. Yeah, identify yourself. Three points of identification as per Met policy, please. Well, I'll give you my warrant number, that's all I have to give you. P235776. Okay, so, 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 what I'm saying is, is that as per your policy, there's three points of identification name, number, station. You're not going to do that, it's not no, an issue. Not easy, because right, this it's only if I'm doing a stop and search, isn't it? Well, you're coming up and asking me what I'm doing and whatnot, and it's not if you're asking about stop and search, it's at the, at the request of a member of the public. I've given you my warrant number. Okay, That's I'm asking for three points of identification. I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. It's fine. Not a problem. The conversation's I've dealt over. With you before. I don't think you have, but the I have. well, if you have, you should you should know. I've dealt with you before. You should, you should know how this goes. So the conversation is over because you're feeling to identify yourself. There will be um, a complaint made to the Met in That's relation fine. to that. All right. So I think you need to jog on, and get back to work. So what we'll do is we'll put a criminal intelligence report on to say what you're doing here today. You could do that. Go for it. And yeah. what what grounds do you have for doing that? Why? Hey, mate, do you mind identifying yourself for me, please? Yeah, of course. Cool. Sergeant Salis, Marshal, numbers 1525. Which station are you based out of? Charing Cross. Awesome. How can your colleague do it and you can't? You asked him, didn't you? Yeah, I asked you as you well. You just told me there's three points of ID. Oh, I'll three, give you. three points of identification you gave me. Uh, it's not three points of identification. Well, as per policy. I'll give you the answer. You never gave me the answer. I told you it's three points of identification. And you I asked said. you to identify yourself. That's you okay, said. sir. Would you want to engage with me? I don't, I don't know what's already been oh, I told him that the conversation was over, he still wants to keep it going, he's talking about putting intelligence reports and all that. If you're going to do that um, as a result of me just simply asking you to identify yourself, I think you're going to find yourself in a spot of order, big time. So I think you need to be very careful about what you're saying. And if you have interacted with me, I don't remember you to be honest, um, you, you appear very unremarkable at that. Um, but if you have dealt with me before, you should know how this goes. And um, and what the end result will be. So I suggest you mind what you're saying. Anyway, you were saying? Yeah, I just, I just came around to have a chat. I yeah. So you, you know that you're here filming Correct. this building. I am. And you, I think you all get quite a lot. That's okay. absolutely fine. We just came because obviously they're concerned, other people are concerned, and there's nothing wrong with just having a polite conversation. With yeah, we're having a polite thing. conversation, but as I say, if he's going to come up and ask me what I'm doing and all that, I just simply asked him to identify himself correctly. I'm not going to do that. That's completely fine, but there will be a, a complaint made against him for that. And, um, and the fact that your colleagues completely made you look ridiculous because he was uh, happy enough to identify himself just simply compounds your problem at this moment in time. Um, but I think this conversation's over. Okay, yeah. Yeah, because you know that I'm well with my rights. Um, anything you need to tell me before you go? 
I just that you've been recording for us. So I appreciate that. Thank you very much. And then it's digital audio if you need a copy. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, if there's anything else you need from us, then we'll be just standing outside. No, I, don't, I didn't need your help. I needed his identification. Okay. Um, Is there anything else you plan on doing today? Any other? Just, we're, just, just, to just whatever. I, you know, I didn't even uh, intend to come and do this building. I was just in the neck of the woods, yeah. and I seen the massive flag, and I decided to come have a nosey about. Do you know what's happening across the road? Uh, also, somebody's in a lot of trouble. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, uh, also somebody's divulge if somebody else I, is in I, the middle. Of yeah, no, I get that. I get that. Like somebody's a bit unwell. I think it doesn't look too yeah. too good for someone. As but. long as there's the right services for the right treatment, that's the main thing. Yeah, no worries. Okay. All right. All right then. Uh, we'll leave it to it. We're going to be there if you need anything. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're a sergeant. Yeah. Not a sergeant. You're not going to tell him about his ID. I, I completely missed it. If he hasn't ID'd himself, then you've got it on video. Okay. Uh, I do have it on video, but I could have an issue with my eyes. I might not be able to read it. Um, so I'm asking him for the record because I will be making a complaint. If you can ask him to identify himself, please. Jesus, Peter. Give my number, P two three five seven seven six. So you know the Met policy on identification when a member of the public asks. That we give our ID. It's three points of identification. Yeah. You understand that? So you you understand that by you feeling to do that, you're not complying with Metropolitan Police right, policy. I'll make a train across police station. What's okay. you require? And your shoulder number, your name, and your. Four seven six eight Avenue Street. And your name. Enough, you do three, three, po three points of identification. One of them is your name. What's written there? PCU. Yeah, it's not that difficult, was it? So if you started off like that, that wouldn't have been so difficult you don't need to for be you. So obstructive, do you. I'm not being obstructive, it's just something I should identify okay, yourself. We're not going to agree on that, are we? Yeah, so I think, as I say, you need to jog on, go back to work. I'm doing the job, that's what I'm talking to you. So go back to work. When I said do your job, it says go back to work. Where you were stationed at the front of the building. Conversation's over. Anything else? No? Cat caught your tongue all of a sudden. Anyway, have a nice day, Sergeant. I appreciate you. Have a good day. Okay, then, thanks. Take care. Bye-bye. Ah, -bye. Oh, what a shame that is, ladies and gentlemen. Put Finley in his place. Absolute joke. And identify himself. Even when his sergeant's there, eventually his sergeant did get him to pipe up. And, uh, and fair play to the sergeant for that. Give him a pat on the back because it's not easy, ladies and gentlemen, when you're put on the spot like that to, to speak up and sort of try and get one of your, your colleagues to to do something. Uh, hello. hello. How you doing? Hi. You okay, yeah? yeah? How can I help you? Why are you doing video? Just because I want to. It's what I do, my friend. Yeah? Uh, because I want to, it's what I do. I go about filming places. Huh? You not understand what I'm saying? Why, why you are you doing this? Because I want to. Just because you want to. Correct, yeah. That's what I do. I go about, mainly in London, and I, and I film interesting locations. Is it? Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. You're surprised by that. What is your name? What's, what's your name? Huh? What's your name? You are in front of High Commission of England. I am, correct, but I'm stood, okay. on, I'm stood on British soil at this moment yeah, in time. So it is our prerogative to ask your identity. You can say... You, you're, 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 you are not supposed to ask our identity. Well, I am asking. You don't need to. I don't need to answer myself to you. So yeah. you need to be careful what you're saying, little man. Okay? No. Yeah, because I'm a British citizen stood on British soil. So? Right? I'm a British citizen stood, so? on, stood on British so what? British so soil. What? And you're coming out telling me so I need what? to identify myself to so you. So what? Who do you think you are? Huh? Who do you think you are? Who do you think who you are? I am a British citizen stood so on British what? soil exercising so? my rights. That's, what I, that's who I think I am. Don't source your right, okay? That is my rights, 100%. It's human rights, my friend. Might not have it in India, but in the UK we have it here. It? I guarantee you that, 100%. Is it? If that's the case, the police came down, the police asked me about it. Why did the police toddle off and not do anything? Answer yourself that. Then why, if you are, you are, you, if you are so brave, why are you hiding your face? Okay, you need to be very careful what you say because I, let me just say something. Disability is a protected characteristic. If you harass me over wearing a face mask because of my hidden disability, I will pursue criminal charges against you for a hate crime. Do you go, understand? Go, 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 go and. Uh, I said, if you. Go, go and, uh, if you. So I think you need to wind your neck in and go back to work, little uh, go one. And, uh, All right. uh, go and uh, 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 file a hate crime case. I said, yeah. if you continue, maybe listen to what I'm saying and engage your ears. All right?
I'm simply I, exercising I also, my race. I can also tell you the same word, okay? Do you say that all you want? Not a problem. I've, I've not had a problem with that, my friend. Right, but you're coming out acting all hostile and aggressive, asking me to identify myself, saying I need to explain to myself to you because you're from the Indian High Commission. You're sadly misinformed. Another walk of shame, swiftly done, ladies and gentlemen. Jeez, oh. Ma, carry on. I'm a British citizen, he's still on British soil, and he comes out saying he's from the Indian High Commission and I need to identify myself to. What a joke. These people seriously think that, that what, because they've got an embassy here, that they can, they've got some sort of right more than, more than what the police have to make demands of us. It's just not on, not happening. No. But yeah, they're locking that door. They've shut up shop, but, but that being said, it is closing time. So I think that's my cue to leave, guys. I think that is my cue to leave. I'm going to call it a day. Say goodbye to this guy. What will we call him? Jabba. Jabba the Hut. Say goodbye to Jabba the Hut, everyone. There they go. Walking back to the station, I think, guys. And they've been replaced. Is that two Walker Shames? Does that count as two Walker Shames, guys? What do you think? Very impressive looking bar. Yeah. So, uh, Greek temple, the Lyceum Theatre, home to the Lion King. Very impressive show, guys. So, folks, that has been the Indian Embassy. Um, very interesting location. I haven't passed it quite a few times. I've been meaning to get down here because it's on the list of embassy audits to do. Um, but yeah, the police officer just was not ready for me today, guys. He just didn't come equipped. But plain and simple. And uh, what a massive, epic walk of shame from him. Really was put in his place. And rightly so, his ego was a bit too much. He couldn't even give three points of identification. His sergeant put him to shame. And, uh, and then put him on the spot and got him to, to formally identify himself as he should have done. Um, obviously, there's quite this, there's this stuff going off over here next to this hotel um, and yeah so hopefully everyone that's there is okay safe well getting looked after by the emergency services that have been called here um, I've thrown in some b-roll footage guys I've started getting some uh, I started experimenting and just taking some uh, sweeping shots of the, the local area in and around my locations guys when I think that the architecture warrants it and I find it very interesting um, again, excuse the, the sort of shaky footage. I will get this gimbal sorted out. Uh, the next time I'm out, I'll definitely have it by then up and running. And uh, and yeah, I'm going to leave it there, guys. If you if you have enjoyed this video, please like it. Feel free to share it. Don't forget to pop down, hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And um, that has been an Indian Embassy. Definitely room for improvement. Met, uh, Channing Cross police officers. Jeez. Still haven't got it right. Unbelievable. But yeah, I'll see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.